in the Mac Lab, we solve problems and provide services. We have a problem. Week 12 grades are due next Monday. Today, Monday of this week, I'm in class. We can talk. But Tuesday through Friday, I'm going to be at the San Diego Convention Center at Adobe Max. A very cool conference. So, we have a problem. Here's our solution. If you want your grade changed, you need to have done this. And just a side note, if you haven't been doing this and your grade should go down, you would be uh, well served to contact me to do the same thing and say, hey, Scotchko, I think my grade shouldn't raise. It should go down. That would be impressive. Okay, so back to students who want their grade raised. Have you been working diligently? Are your DPAs well written and complete? Have you paid for all your absence, tardices, and trudencies? <laughs> tardencies? <laughs> Look, you have to, but Scott, it was an excused absence. Yeah, if it wasn't an excused absence, it would be a truancy. So, yes, you pay for it, but it was a doctor's appointment. Yeah, you pay for it. I know, your parents called, it's excused. You pay for it. Ah, okay, we've covered that. I'm not gonna cover that anymore. So now, here's how you change it. There's a link to the contact page, it's also right there. And there's a link to the rubric, and it's also right there. So you need to use these two things. What I would do if I was filling this out, I would copy this, Command C. And then I would click this link. I'm going to switch over Command 2 because I've already filled this out. I want your full name, your guhsd.net email, not your personal email. I want this. There's a reason for this. And then you paste that other information right here. And then fill out your period. Give me a link to your blog. What's your current grade? And yeah, I use a 100-point grade scale like every other teacher, but I split it into five equal groups. That's why a 40 can be a C. That's a low C. 0 to 19, F. 20 to 39, D. Okay, and then all the way up to 80 to 99 is an A. So where you sit inside that span of numbers is whether you have a low whatever grade or a high whatever grade. And then you put in your raise and your reason right here needs to be associated with our rubric. The last thing you need to do is a little second grade math and then click submit. Do not send me an email saying, Scotchko, I used the contact page and I submitted a grade change form and you haven't taken care of it yet. I will take care of it this weekend probably. I may do it ahead of time. But what I'm going to do, I get hundreds and hundreds of emails every day. Every time you buy a store item, early bird, bell to bell, for the win, whatever it is, absence, tardy, whatever it is, I get an email. Think about it. There's over 200 students. Think about it. How many emails is that a day? 600, 800, more? I am going to sort my emails according to this contact page. And I'm going to put all of these requests inside a folder, and then I'm going to work on them all at once. So, yeah, I may wait until Saturday to do this. Got it? Now, be sure to reference the rubric for your reason. The rubric has only 17 words. Think. Think about everything we've been doing. Use your head and just follow the instructions. Got it? Do you understand? If not, watch this video again. Figure it out. All right. I look forward to hearing from you, believe it or not.